This meeting is being recorded. For class nine, today we are going to start. I don't have shown much. So we are going to start with descriptive paragraph. Of a person, paragraph of person. So you know that when you have to write down a descriptive paragraph of a person. So first of all, you people, can you tell me that what you write down in descriptive paragraph of a person? Yes, you people have done earlier. Yes, ma'am. We start. We start with the topic sentence. Yes. Start. You start with. Topic sentence, of course. Start with topic sentence. Okay, that is quite you can say attractive as well as it displays the qualities of a person. Okay, then afterwards, then describe describe the physical appearance of the person. Yes, you describe physical describe physical appearance. Of a person, then um, their profession. Hmm? Give details about their profession. Okay, profession, education, outlook, qualities. And while you are mentioning qualities, you can make some comparison also. Make short comparison of the same profession, profession with the persons of the same profession. Then, yes, uh, their impact, their impact on us. Hmm. Then, your relation, their habits. Yes, your relation with the person, okay, their habits, of course, you explain here, okay, then afterwards, you conclude, okay, in conclusion, what you write down, what you write down means your comment, overall, your overall expression, expression or viewpoint about that. Person. Okay, so you write in this manner. Okay, that your overall viewpoint about that person. So this is how you write down a descriptive paragraph. This we have already done. It means that you always start with the topic sentence. Then afterwards, you write down about the details about that person. Now in details about his appearance, about his qualities, about his profession, education, okay? Then you can also make short comparison with the other persons of the same profession. Not too many lines, okay? It can be, divided, it can be written in one paragraph, it can be divided into two to three paragraphs. It depends, okay? And then conclusion. In conclusion, you will give the overall expression about viewpoint about that person. Right? So this is how you write down a descriptive paragraph. Okay? Next, afterwards, we are going to do one, you can say, one topic. Okay? Now, earlier we have done, suppose you are writing about your father, your, you can say, any friend, your relative, your mother, or the person, okay? We who are social workers, you can say, okay, social workers not doing social work. Those who are uh, used in your daily routine, who are working in your daily routine. So these are social persons, right? So now next afterwards, we are going to start with the description of a person. Suppose the person is a common personality and in exam, it is given that you have to write down a descriptive paragraph for that person. So now the problem is, from where to get information. So most of the time when such type of, you can say paragraph is given, uh, usually the main points are always given. So start writing down. 
look at the following points and write a descriptive paragraph and write a descriptive paragraph for the person okay so now so this is the question that you have to write down so now who is the person name is dr kiran mazumdar shah this is the name of the lady about whom you are going to write it down note down the question now parents father is rasendra masoom mazumdar so now bit about his profession also that what he was doing he was formerly head at brew master at united breweries formerly head at brew masters at united breweries means this is the workplace of father it means that he works there okay next afterwards so father suggested her or father suggestion to study what she should study she should study fermentation science fermentation science i think that common ones you can do let us do something uncommon one fermentation science sorry that she should continue with fermentation science next her education schooling from bishops cotton girls schooling from where she has done her schooling from bishops cotton girls high school cotton girls girls high school bishops cotton girls high school bachelor's degree in zoology she got bachelor's degree in zoology note down side by side bachelor's she has got bachelor's degree in zoology from bangalore university and bangalore this is just question from bangalore university and then she went to federation university to study went to federation university in australia to study malting to study malting and and 
growing in 1974 and she aspired to medicine but could not aspired to medicine because simple ones I know that you can easily write aspired to medicine she wanted to study this medicine but she could not okay right this is about her schooling now next afterwards about her career we will write Next, she is chairperson chairperson and managing director. Next, chairperson and managing director of what? Of Biocon, one of the famous company. Biocon Limited. Okay. Biocon Limited. And also chairperson of IIM Bengalore. Bengaluru. Right. Then recognition. She is honored with numerous national and international awards means she has got recognition numerous national and international awards national and international awards she got many national as well as international awards right then what is her special achievement i'm finding chalk yes what is her special achievement What means her special achievement? She is listed in Forbes magazine as most powerful woman in the world. Most powerful women in Forbes list. In the Forbes list. Okay, this is her special recognition as well as achievement. And she was at 77 and 71st position 77 and 71st position in 2016 and 2017 this is all about this lady okay so now here is the information given to you <clears throat> Now, you have to formulate Now, you have to formulate this, you can say descriptive paragraph for it. Now, start speaking. I'm just giving you one minute. Take your one minute and then you will start speaking. Yes. I'm just giving you one minute. You can note it down this question. Okay, right. Ashmit. Ashmit, you want to say something? Panika? I just wanted to ask you that do we have to write this in fair notebook also? Yes, of course. If it will be given only then fair notebook, of course. Even in the starting of the period, I told open up your fair notebooks and write it down. Yes, Panika will speak. Yes, Panika. Yes, ma'am. Start. Dr. Kiran Mazumdar Shah's father, Resendra Mazumdar, Mazumdar, is formerly a head brew master at United Brew Breweries hmm. and suggested her to study fermentation science. Hmm. He got education um, from Bishop's Cotton Girls High School, bachelor's degree in zoology from Bangalore. 
hmm. and went to federation university hmm. study malting and bre- brewing hmm. and but uh, she could not hmm. then uh, she is the chairperson and uh, managing director in biocon LT- ltd chairperson IIMI Bangalore Resendra Mazumdar is honored with numerous national and international awards and her special achievements uh, were listed listed in Forbes magazine and uh, she is one of the most powerful women in the world at 77th and 71st position uh, in 2016 and 2017 so what you have given is only the content that is being written on the board and according to that you haven't started with topic sentence means i said that in the topic sentence you will mention in the starting okay that in an impressive way attractive way you will explain about the person where is that panika now let me ask uh, ramni okay diya chalo ramni pehle aap bolo fir diya se puch yes topic sentence diya uh, ramni ramni yes you can speak i have unmuted you again hmm some problem some problem ramni i am unmuting you again and again now you can yes ma'am hmm. my voice is audible yes yes audible yes ma'am i haven't think of the topic sentence yet but i have framed the paragraph okay you speak yes ma'am dr kiran mazumdar uh, shaw was the chairperson of iim bangalore her father mr rajendra mazumdar was the formerly head brew master at united breweries she completed her schooling from bishop cotton girls high school and achieved the bachelor's degree in zoology from bangalore mm-hmm. then she went to federation university in australia to study malting and brewing in 1974 she was aspired to become the chairperson and the managing director at biocon limited then she was honored as the chairperson of iim bengaluru she was also honored with a numerous national as well as international awards uh, also she was listed as the most powerful women at 77th and 71st positions respectively in 2016 and 2017 in the forbes magazine hmm. okay i'm not so satisfied okay now this is last one speak dear here yeah? starting one Hmm. Yes, dear. Start with topics. Yes, ma'am. Uh, they say there is nothing more. Uh, there they say there is nothing more success powerful than a successful woman who has a control over the reins of her life. Hmm. Behind every successful woman is her desire to outwest everyone. In two the above sentence. Two many lines. Don't add two many lines. Okay, just one. That's it. Okay. Hmm. The above sentence best describes the life of Dr. Kiran Dr. Kiran Maz- Mazumdar Shah. Hmm. Uh, her father, Ra- uh, Mr. Raj Ruzendra uh, Mazumdar uh, Shah, was formerly a head at the brew master at United Kingdom. Hmm. Like every father, he too was devoted. Uh, he too wanted her, his daughter to succeed, and suggested her to uh, study fermentation science. Uh, following his advice she did uh, she she was schooled from uh, she completed her schooling from the uh, bishop cotton girls high school and bachelor's degree in zoology zoology from bangalore university what you have written for the ending what you have written in the ending how you ended uh, she she has uh, she she is the best uh, best example for any for everyone uh, for every girl in the world 
she has been rewarded as uh, the best rewarded as the most powerful woman in uh, 77th and 81st uh position in 2016 and 17 forbes magazine uh, right so thing what i want to tell you is that it is not necessary the way the complete information is given in series you will write the complete information in those series it is not necessary you can manage the data also this i want to tell you one thing okay first thing is you can start with topics and then like dear you have started it's good one also but if it is to be started in the simple simplest way then it can also be started for example you can say like it is about kiran mazumdar okay so kiran mazumdar who is also a billionaire okay kiran mazumdar shaw is an indian billionaire as well as entrepreneur she is an entrepreneur she started her own business okay right then you can tell about her achievements many the content from behind okay what she was that she is also the chairperson and managing director of biocon united okay company one of the famous company and she is also the chairperson of iim bengaluru okay and uh from where you can then write about her schooling she did her schooling from bishop scott and girls high school and bachelor's degree from zoology uh, bachelor's degree in zoology from bangalore university and she aspired to continue her medicine but she could not okay then you can write down this one also then afterwards you can switch on to parents means first one paragraph what we have made we have made one paragraph about her achievements what actually she is in this manner you can manage the content entire content read the entire question then manage okay it is not necessary like in the sequence it is given you will write in that sequence only we have written what she is okay her you can say main achievements then afterwards we will come to her later on achievements in the end then afterwards about her family okay so about her family uh what she has done so about her family who are the parents so right she is born to gujarati parents her father then you can write down about his father about her father that her father rasendra majumdar was the head brew master at united breweries and he suggested her what he suggested to pursue a course in fermentation science okay and so that she could also be trained as a brew master see of his interest you can add one or two things on your own okay right and this you can say brew master is of course a non traditional business or non traditional job for a woman so that she could also continue her study in fermentation science that is of course a bit you can say non traditional job for a woman okay then you can write down kiran mazumdar she went to federation university in australia means when her father suggested then she has gone to australia then she has gone to federation uh, university in australia and she started studying in studying this d is now why is missing she started studying malting and brewing malting and brewing okay and right malting and brewing then you have written that then we will come to her finally we will come to her you can say uh that explanation okay what kind of explanation that is given about her achievements then what has happened that she has joined further biocon company in india and she has taken it to greater heights then you can remember she is the she has turned out to be the chairperson of iim bangalore then ultimately you can also mention about her there are there are numerous national as well as international awards added to her you can say added to her a list of achievements she is of course the most she is also of course con, uh, considered as the most powerful women in the forb list to be at 77th and 71st position in the years 2016 and 17 so this is how this women is of course a example of courage and entrepreneurship for all okay so in this manner what i want to tell you is you have to manage the content is it okay 
yes tell me fine right so this is how you have to manage the content i think that in spite of giving writing uh, on your own like you have to write down uh, this uh, uh, for a person you know whatever it is i can give you on this kind of mode right clear so now uh, the time is not allowing us to start another topic so now you just let us just have a recap about this okay so ashpreet you can tell me how to write down description of a person yes how we can write down description of a person yes ashpreet yes ashpreet unmute yourself yes ma'am how you can write down the description of a person we should give detailed account of that person first uh, we should tell about that his <laughs> piece we will start with topic sentence okay then yes ma'am then structure of paragraph we will uh, middle of paragraph in that we will write about detailed account of that person behavior his height his personality what are his qualities mm -hmm. and in the end we will conclude with the com comment hmm. yes overall view about that person what we will do we will start with the overall comment it means that whatever information is given you have to manage that content also you have to manage that information also don't go in the exact sequence your intelligence lies here only that content is given to you how you are formulating it an impressive way right so this is all about descriptive paragraph of a person and this must be written in your peer notebooks right now if you have any doubts you can ask me